I hope everybody's doing good. Yeah, Mr. Cones in. Love those videos you put out this afternoon. Give us, gave everybody a true feel what it's like over there in Belarus. Um, looks like a beautiful place, actually. Um, all right, so look, I didn't have time. I wasn't even going to shoot this video. Um, but <clears throat> just to get everybody up to uh, up to uh, what I'm doing here as far as what I did. So yesterday I did all these cores and I've got them all down to uh, at least one lamination. So they're all the pretty much the same thickness this way. Um, so I wound wire on on the ends in here, and then it was actually uh, this stuff here. This stuff is, uh, which I think is 22 gauge. I was winding that on on here for the ticklers, driving coils. Um, and this stuff I had on on the ends. There's this, and then I got more on that spool. I haven't touched my new stuff yet, because I'll wait for something that's permanent. So I've just been experimenting with this stuff. So it was 55 turns on the ends, um, and 70 for 22 gauge. And I'm really impressed what I see here, because um, I was getting 18 volts peak to peak off the ends. Um, and I think I was 800 mils driving it. And these magnets here are three quarter. Let me get something to point with so it's uh, these are three quarter. This one here is uh, nine sixteenths, and these are half inch. Uh, that's just the diameter, and they're all, uh, except this one, I think this was four millimeter, a little less than an eighth, but these are eighth, um, and these just are a little bit more than an eighth. Um, I've tried putting a caliper on it, but it's digital, and uh, it doesn't like the magnetic field. I don't have my uh, analog one with me, so... Um, both of these are exactly the same. Why do I have two? Because um, eventually I planned on uh, doing two setups. Running them both at the same frequency and combining all the DC outputs. Um, hoping that I'm going to have real power here, which when I arced out and shorted out these end coils, which had 18 gauge on them, I saw very little effect on the driving up here when I was driving it. Right now I've got this battery and that battery on charge, so just picked these suckers up at the uh, scrapyard yesterday for five bucks a piece, 18 amp hours, AGMs. Nothing was never even connected on here. No marks from screws or connections. They were still in the box. Um, and I ended up getting more microwave transformers. And did that yesterday and split them up. Just took the eyes off. I still got to do the C's, but I was only interested in just getting the eyes so I can make my laminated bars. So, both these magnets... Our uh, north is up, here and here, so when we're pushing north this way and pushing north that way, um, all fluxes, this one is drawn through the coil because it's going to be south on this side on that half cycle, so both force and magnets are forced to go through here and around and back up to make the circuit. Um, and because of what's going on, 
with that going that way, the souths are going through the bottom of this coil and going this way. And then when you do the other half of the cycle, now it's getting pushed this way, both magnets are now getting going through this coil this way, and then the south is coming underneath it and going around that way. So, from what I read, having two poles of magnets, um, so that's four times the force. And I'll tell you what, you can't take these things off or even move them when it's engaged. Um, I actually put my hands in between here, trying to pull them apart, and it was impossible. So there's a lot of force going on there. So, once I get one done, I see what I got. If I need to make an improvement with the turns, I'm going to go to this one. Um, make the change on this one. I can compare the two. Um, and if I like what I see here, then... Um, I'll do this. I'll go back to this one and do the same again. I'm going to end up doing some bobbins, making it out of plastic. Um, I'm not going to wind the wire on this. I'm going to actually use plastic uh, bobbins on, so I can slide these off if I have to. Um, and ultimately, I was thinking about if everything works out the way I'm hoping it does, I was thinking about taking the corners. But super glue really holds these things together, and it takes quite a bit to break them apart once you glue them. Um, I'm not anticipating very much heat, so that's probably the route I'm going to go initially, unless I find out otherwise. Is this better than this? I think so. And I was impressed by this. So, at this point, this is what we got. 